that the female pelvis between the urinary bladder anteriorly and the rectum and anal canal posteriorly lies the uterus and the vagina with the ovary and fallopian tube, which are not shown in this specimen. The female reproductive system, the internal genital organs comprise of the ovary, fallopian tube, body of the uterus, with the fundus, body of the uterus, cervix and the vagina. The uterus has got a lateral surface, medial surface, the lateral surface lying is in relation to the lateral wall of the pelvis. The medial surface is lying in relation to the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube consists of four parts. The intramural part, isthmus, ampulla and the infundibulum. Infundibulum consists of number of fimbria. The part of the uterus above the opening of fallopian tube is known as the fundus of uterus. The rest is known as the body and the lowest part is known as the cervix of the uterus. The cervix of the uterus pierces the upper end of the vagina and there are four fornices in relation to the vagina. This is the posterior vaginal fornix which is the deepest anterior vaginal fornix and there are two lateral fornices of the vagina. This is the lower opening of the vagina in relation to the vestibule. These genital organs, the ovary, uterus, cervix and vagina are supplied by the ovarian arteries and the uterine arteries. The ovarian artery is a branch of the abdominal aorta. It supplies the ovaries and also part of the fallopian tube. The uterine artery is a branch of anterior division of internal iliac artery. It is tortuous and it crosses the ureter which are lying behind the, behind the uterine artery. It runs along the lateral side of the uterus, supplies the uterus, supplies part of the fallopian tube. In addition, it gives branches which supply the vagina as well. The supports of the uterus are the ligaments. Anteriorly, there is the pubo-cervical ligament. Posteriorly, there is a utero-sacral ligament. And laterally, there is a very important ligament which is known as the lateral cervical ligaments. These ligaments are supporting the uterus. In addition to the ligaments, there are muscles, the levator ani and the perineal body. The supports of the uterus are muscular as well. They are the important levator ani and the muscles which are inserted into the perineal body. There are 8 to 10 muscles inserted into the perineal body which indirectly support the cervix and the uterus.